I'm Andy Glass of Glass Impressions. Toolstoday.com and Glass Impressions have partnered up to bring you a CNC puzzle of the lower 48 states. Each state is made out of a different material including MDF, hardwood, plastic, carbon fiber, and even aluminum. Toolstoday.com's website provides smart, up-to-date CNC tooling options. They offer full price transparency and even free shipping options. Head over to Toolstoday.com for all your CNC tooling needs. Let's sit back and let the CNC do all the work. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. Amana tool number 51404. Feed rate of 30 inches per minute with 3000 RPMs. The 24 inch by 24 inch piece of plastic is held down with double sided carpet tape with the addition of four hold downs. Make sure you place your hold downs securely with adequate room for your spindle to clear. At times I could tell my double sided tape failed due to excessive vibration. The cut quality was fantastic and my parts had zero chipping. Now it is time for some hardwood. A mana tool number 46200 with a feed rate of 30 inches per minute and 6000 RPM. When I milled the hardboard, I didn't bring the thickness to exactly one quarter of an inch, so I could use an onion skin technique and avoid using double sided tape. This technique is when you don't cut all the way through and leave a very thin piece of material to prevent the part from being released. Again I use a crevice tool on my shop vac to capture the dust. I typically use a dust boot, but that isn't video friendly. Next up is aluminum. A mana tool number 51402 with a feed rate of 30 inches per minute and 10,000 RPMs. My only issue with aluminum was having a flat piece of material. I received a lot of vibration in the cut, but to my surprise the cut quality was fantastic. I guess using sharp tooling pays off. When milling aluminum, I highly recommend wearing face protection. These chips are coming off with some serious velocity. Next up is the coolest material in the world, carbon fiber. A mana tool number 46264 with a feed rate of 30 inches per minute and RPMs of 1500. I will say this bit look very cool. I had to take extra light cuts to prevent the cut path from clogging up. A mana tool number 46180, feed rate of 30 inches per minute and 10,000 RPMs.
I cut a profile of the USA with a quarter inch larger offset to ensure the puzzle pieces would fit with a little wiggle room. Next we need to remove the remaining material fast. For this we're going to use a mana tool number RC-2250 with a feed rate of 30 inches per minute and 10,000 RPMs. This bit can remove some serious material and do it in quick order. Proper dust collection and PPE is required when using all power tools, but this bit especially. It makes an enormous mess. Now it is time to see all our machines hard work and assemble the puzzle. I will note I did paint the particle board black off camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Special thanks to ToolsToday.com for making this project happen. Now the new materials, the plastics, the carbon fiber, and the aluminum were a bit tricky, but once I dialed in the speeds and feeds, everything was A-OK. -okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you'd like to know more information on glass impressions, I encourage you to visit my website, AndyGlassImpressions.com, or search me on YouTube glass impressions as I frequently release woodworking projects and CNC projects just like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.